So today, I just picked up this claw. And I'm going to be mounting it on my excavator arm right here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some stone wall projects and I just want to get something that will make it a lot easier to really move the rocks and pick them up and put them where I want. This is a perfect size machine for it around here so let's get started. So I really wanted to get this perfect, just so <coughs> it's not straight as you can see. It took me a couple tries, but I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it as far as lining it up wise. It's a little short right here, but if you look, it's, it's almost the same distance between the two in there, which is pretty damn perfect. So I think once this has your, your arm on it, be able to pick rocks right up with it and I can adjust it and I can also pull it off when I'm not using it so we'll see how it comes out I'm gonna weld it up I got a nice big welder right here and um, we'll see how it works out let's weld it up
So I did one pass. I'm not a welder by any means, but I do understand what to do. So I think this should definitely be strong enough. It's all about penetration, really. Uh, they're a little ugly down here, but that's a pretty good stream right there. A couple holes in it, but I think that's good enough. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I think we got plenty of contact in those welds. Um, I, I couldn't really get under here so I'm probably not going to do that, but I think that's more than enough just to throw on there. It shouldn't fall off. And if it does, it's got to be a big ass rock that I'm going to be lifting. And I'll just have to bring it back and restick it. Now that I'm looking at it, this bottom part looks pretty ugly. So I'm going to put another bead on there. Yeah, this is a lot better now. For some reason the weld just wanted to keep dropping down. But I cleaned it up a lot better. Yeah, there's some holes in it, but the penetration is there. You know, I'm not I'm not a professional welder by any by any means and don't claim to be one, but I do inspect welds for my day job and I do know what I'm doing and what I'm looking at. I just, I'm not a professional welder by any chance. So, all right, I'll put this on. I'll show you what I can do with it. And then uh, we're gonna put it away. I think this is cool. You know how corroded this chipping hammer is. So every 10 years we go inside these above ground storage tanks for honest service inspections. And this thing was sitting in a floating roof. So it clearly has been in there for at least 10 years, sitting in ethanol fumes and it's in a gasoline tank. I think that's cool. All right, so here it is. See it outside of the shop. Some of them are good, but I think this is definitely, definitely welded up enough. I don't see a problem with this breaking a couple holes but for the most part it's good and some good penetration here so let's try and lift this rock up so I picked the rock up it was a little difficult. That's off the ground. It's not touching the plow. And that's a big boy. That's a big rock. Completely off the ground. So I think, moral of the story, I think this thumb will work just fine. There's no stress cracks on any of the welds. And this is pretty much the biggest rock I will actually be trying to pick up with this machine. And I probably won't even be picking up rocks this big with it. But it's just to show you what this machine is capable of. Alright, so uh, I'll be making a video soon about Rebuilding a nice old colonial stone rock wall, rock wall, and I'll be using this machine. Have a good night.